We were all the same in Sindeford, more or less, in Deancroft, where we lived. No one had any money, so we were all in the same boat, which was kind of nice in a way. There weren't many pretentious people around, you know. My dad was a collier at Eastern as a 15-year-old, and then Northern. So on my birth certificate, it says, my dad's Terry John Phelps, occupation, coal getter by hand, which was the pickaxe. When the colliery closed, he went on the open cast at steam mills. Then he went to rank Xerox, like all ex miners seem to end up at. Because <laughs> who could blame it? They had a lovely, proper working environment, yeah. safe, warmish, so opposed to what they used to do. All I know is all the people that lived where we did, most of their kids were like us, the same. And we would have ended up in the Sunday, you know, at Sunday school. I just saw it as an escape. Um, my parents an escape, uh, escaping from the kids. You know, it was somewhere to get the bugger off, get over there, you know. We know where we can send them on a Sunday, out that bloody way, you know what I mean? Get to Sunday school. And there was a bow used to ring up there somewhere. I vaguely remember, it must have been in that bit of a tower bit on the top there, that little thing. But we had to go. It was like, you know, Sunday, you've got to go. Funny, isn't it? You're, that, you're young and you, you think, this don't feel right somehow. Because our mum and dad always tend to be very tired on a Sunday afternoon. They don't have to go and have a lie down. You know? <laughs> and they couldn't have a proper lie down with a load of kids running around, could they? So I reckon... <laughs> All this Bible stuff and that, right? That was just to get you out of the house because then, so then we're going to have a little lie down. You know, so that we were out the frame for an hour or two. So it was like, we had, when we had to go. Do you know what? And you just sit there and you'd hear all this singing and stuff and all, you, and you just kind of, it was something to be endured rather than to believe in it. You know what I mean? You just, it was somewhere you had to go. I can't remember many people in Dean Croft and probably the, the, the general forest that were really that kind of religious. All I can remember is this vision of a bloke who was quite strict, you know? You know, you were going to... The grain were going to open up on you if you didn't do the right thing, you know? I, I don't know if it, was, uh, it affected you in, uh, consciously, but I think it shaped... It had a bit of shape to your life, you know? Because you were... You were always um, aware of authority, you know? So maybe that teacher was breathing it into you, you know, that, you know, you do the right thing.